Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombly's currently in third place in League One. And as you may recognize from the background, we're taking on Swindon Town today at the county ground. Wow. This is a trip down memory lane. There's Green Eggs and Fodringham and a bunch of guys who never played for the Swoodley Poopers. Um, it's crazy. Crazy just to think about the fact of how far we've come uh, from the bottom of League 2 all the way up to League 1 where we get to play Swindon Town. Uh, this is an awkward moment for the John Greens. They both wanted to start today even though they're tired um, because uh, they, they love their old club, but they also want to beat their old club into submission. I don't think it's going to be a Chesterfield-style um, domination that we saw when uh, Sarah, Sarah came to visit for, uh, for that game. I think we all wish we had Sarah here more often. That was immense. Oh, almost a goal right out the blocks. Um, but, um, yeah, that was, that was super fun. So thanks to Sarah, and thanks to all the Wimbley Wombly supporters for uh, cheering us on in that astonishing 7-1 victory. Um, today I'm going to talk about times I puked, because <laughs> that's something that uh, people ask for. First time I ever remember, just one person, to be fair. First time I ever remember puking, um, was in Washington, D.C. I got food poisoning. I was probably like eight. It's one of my first memories, actually. I was visiting the nation's capital with my family to take in the Smithsonian, the White House, understand a little bit about the history of my nation, and instead I ate a bad burger and spent all night puking. And in retrospect, now that I have a child of my own, I realized that the real, uh, the real her hero of that story... Oh! He scores with his left. He scores with his right. That less more makes some more look shite. Great goal. You never heard that one? Remember when some more left our team, insisted on being uh, sold? Yeah, ever since then, his formerly conjoined twin, Les Moore, that's the song that we sing about him because we don't have fond memories of some more around these parts. No, sir. We love us some Les Moore. He's all the more we need. That's, our, that's the other thing we say. Um, anyway, that was a great, great, great goal from Wes Moore. And suddenly, I mean, I, 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 know that, I know that some of you think I need to go up to world-class skill level, but we're still not winning League One. Like, we're still in third. So I think, we're, I think we're, we're competitive. Maybe we've just improved a lot in the last. That's a foul. Thank you. Yeah, that was naughty. You broke the rules. Um... Yeah, so then, I mean, you know, I threw up a lot from, uh, from food poisoning, other related ailments. I, I, it wasn't until, oh, Frankenstein. He says, I can't hear you. I can't, oh, and then Lee and Les Moore are celebrating. It's, it's, it's the day of unlikely uh, Wimbledon goal scorers. Look at Frankenstein. Just, he was set up for it, and he was like, all right, I guess I'll finish. I don't have a very strong shot, but, you know, I am a doctor who's created a monster. Um, so, um, wow, this is just, this is like, uh, we are, we're like a different club suddenly. We're just on form, I guess. So, um, by the time I was in high school, I, I, I often threw up every day. Um, this turned out to be an anxiety problem, but, um, for a long time, it was really scary for me. I mean, it's, first off, I, I don't like throwing up. But um, for a long time, it was really, really scary for me because, yeah, it was just scary. Then I remember reading, after, after I understood what was going on, that it was like a function of my anxiety and stuff, which is a weird thing that anxiety can do to you, but real. Um, I, I read that uh, Charles Darwin, no less, no less a, a, a revolutionary than Charles Darwin, uh, threw up almost every day of his adult life. Um, that made me feel a little bit better. Uh, and then, of course, also in high school, it was when I first started puking from drinking, um, which, you know, it didn't take me. First off, the quality of the, 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 my alcohol intake in high school was, was exceptionally low. I mean, we're talking about, you know, $2 bottles of wine. This, this, isn't, this isn't the modern day two bottle, $2 bottle of like two buck chuck or whatever. This is like... Mad Dog 2020 stuff that says on it that it can't technically call itself wine because it wasn't made from grapes, um, that kind of thing. And I drank, I, I did, I did, I did drink a fair amount in in high school. It's not something I'm terribly proud of, I have to say. But uh, I did. I was, uh, I wasn't a great student as I've talked about before, and I was generally something of a troublemaker. 
I, I think that, um, you know, looking back on it, most of what, uh-oh, 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 everything worked out. Most of what actually was happening was that I, I had this, I think I did have a desire to, like, get messed up, but I think my biggest desire was to be, like, prove that I was, like, cool and could, like, take it and was, like, Mr. Fancy, I can drink a lot of beers guy, but of course I couldn't, <laughs> and I would throw up. Um, another time that I puked, I once, pu I once ate two uh, peanut butter sandwiches. This was when I was 22, Meredith. I'm just going to tell you this story. I once ate two peanut butter sandwiches, just peanut butter and bread, because we didn't have any jelly in the apartment. This was when I was living in a basement apartment in Chicago, and it was dangerous to have jelly because the mice, um, the mice could kind of chew, chew into the, uh, the, the plastic jelly, grape jelly container, but they couldn't get into the, uh, the glass um, jar for, uh, for the peanut butter. So anyway, I was eating peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and no jelly. And I had two, two peanut butter sandwiches because that was most of my caloric intake back then. And, oh, that's a nice ball. It's a nice ball, but it's all for nothing. Like, so much effort in this world. Yabamba comes up short. Oh, but then Yabamba with a great tackle. Now Yabamba. Oh, he's all hunger. Look at Yabamba on the ball. Oh, the kid never gives up. That's why he bleeds Wembley blue. And a completely unnecessary slide tackle there at the end of the half. But I love the courage. Two goals from unlikely sources. Less more. Frankenstein. This is a good start to our game. Um, so I ate two peanut butter sandwiches, and then I got a phone call. The phone. Uh, the, the 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 recurring theme in my life of puking is that I I usually a have food poisoning, b am in an extremely tense situation. Like Hank will tell you that I am not afraid to to vomit before a uh, nerd fighter gathering. Um, or C, um, I have food poisoning, I'm in an extremely stressful situation, um, or else C, I drank too much. Fortunately, that doesn't happen anymore. Um, well, you, don't wanna, you never want to say never, but it's been a while. Um, anyway, so I get a phone call immediately after eating these two peanut butter sandwiches from a young woman I had been dating for a couple of years, but we had broken up, and she was going to... She was flying from her home to Miami where she was moving to be with her new boyfriend, but her flight got canceled in, of all places, Chicago. She had no one else to call. She called me, said, um, do you have a place I could stay at? And I was like, yeah. And then I drove all the way to the airport thinking about it, just feeling really, really tense. And then I picked her up, and I hadn't seen her since we'd broken up, and I was really freaked out and overwhelmed. And then I threw up the two peanut butter and no jelly sandwiches. And let me just tell you, friends, I have thrown up many things in my life. But throwing up peanut butter without jelly and bread, it's a sticky situation. Um, it is not a lot of fun. It just barely comes out. Um, it was just horrible. I mean, the, the rest of it was also pretty stressful. But um, anyway, then in the end, we, we did get back together, inevitably. Did she see me throw up? That's a great question. Thank you. No. I, um, what happened was I realized about 30 seconds after I picked her up, I realized that I was going to throw up no matter what I wanted. And so what I did was I, 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 I drove. We were in not a very good neighborhood in Chicago when I realized this. And I just stopped the car. And I, I walked up to um, sort of the side of a building, front side, I would say. And I, tried, I just kind of tried to block the event with my body slash the, the, the brick facade of the building. Um, that, was, uh, that was a memorable, that was a memorable one. The, t the last time I, uh, well, I still, I mean, you know, I can't say the last time I threw up, but, but one, of the, one of the more recent times was um, I was, I was sick. I had uh, norovirus, which I can't, I can't in good faith recommend to anybody. That's why I don't get on cruise ships because y I, I, I'm so scared of norovirus. Anyway, I had norovirus throwing up all night. Miser misery. Misery. Absolute. Un wow. Swindon Town with some amazing play. And it results in a goal. I mean, that was like, uh, that was crazy. That was, that was like Barcelona stuff over, over on the touchline. And then an amazing cross. And Seb Brown can't do anything about it. And frankly, I can't even begrudge Swindon that amazing goal. You know, Meredith, I always said that if, uh, look at this. Look at that banana stuff. That's banana pants. And then, oh, it's just, just a good finish. Strong finish. Can't, 
Can't say anything about it. We just got beat. Seb wasn't tremendous. Oh, I guess there was a, there was, uh, I think that was in off Kennedy's head, actually. I think there was a uh, bit of a deflection off Kennedy's hideous hair that, uh, that actually led to the goal. I think Seb probably would have had it cover covered otherwise. Um, anyway, I had norovirus, and then I, I threw up for, for about 24 hours, which, which was not fun. Um, and then my, my, my kid got norovirus. Um, at the time, I only had one kid, thankfully. Um, and so I had like a 103 degree fever still, and I was quite miserable, but I was no longer throwing up. But then Henry was throwing up so much, it was like out of the movie The Exorcist. And uh, finally, I just lost it. Oh, how do you like them apples? Swindon Town, keep scoring. We're just going to score some more. Oh, that's what he likes to do. He likes to run to the touchline and hug his manager. He says, where's my manager? Oh, he didn't quite find him. Oh, no, he lost an arm. It was, that was horrifying. It was a sudden graphic the loss of arm. I think could, it felt like you could see his femur. Is that an arm bone or a leg bone? Nobody knows for sure. Um, no, that's something. Only, only the scientists of the future um, know if the femur is in the arm or the leg. Um, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we saw his humerus? I don't know. What am I, an anatomy teacher? I'm just a man who happens to be exceptionally good at FIFA. Oh, that's a great ball. Cut back. Cut back. I love it. Pass. I love Nope. Hmm. Tell you what, we are just, uh, we're beating Swindon Town, and we're really enjoying our football right now. Um, feel a little bit like Liverpool, where we're just playing fast and loose and having a great time. Um, and look at, look at the sad, bearded Swindon players trying to think what even, they're just like, what happened to us? Um, there's El Rooney. I think El Rooney used to be a Wembley Wombly, actually. Um, anyway, I still haven't gotten to the point of my story, which is that there was so much exorcist-style vomiting that I started <laughs> vomiting, and it was just a, it was just a nasty, nasty mess. Um, what a great video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we've still got two minutes left, and I can't think of any more puking stories. But the real, I really just wanted to, to uh, do this video so that I could tell you all about the, how much I enjoyed um, being sick with nothing but uh, peanut butter and bread in my body. Um, that's a moment that you'd wish you'd hydrated better. Congratulations to the Wimbly Womblies on defeating their, uh, their former friends, uh, the Swindon Town, especially John Green, who scored a great goal. Seb Brown being congratulated despite letting in a somewhat soft goal from Mr. N. Ranger. Um, great, great game. I know that you're frustrated, Swindon. Life is hard and full of disappointments. Best wishes.